it almost seems like the story of Greg Bird on the Yankees is a novel that will not come to an end. The journey has been an irrefutable tragedy thus far. I imagine some fans, along with myself, are rooting for his emergence as the offensive force baseball analysts and former players once believed he was destined to become. Before Yankee fans viewed in awe the sudden offensive output from Baby Bombers, Aaron Judge and Gary Sanchez in 2015, they first were introduced to the sweet left-handed stroke by a then 22-year-old Greg Bird. His disappointing statistics since then provoked general manager Brian Cashman to acquire Luke Voigt from the Cardinals late last season. Voigt soon exploded as an unexpected offensive weapon upon his arrival. Some say Voigt is the right-handed doppelganger of Jason Giambi because of his appearance and massive presence in the Yankees lineup during the home stretch of 2018. Bird's early arrival to camp this season assumingly shows he's willing to do whatever it takes to win his job back. But Voigt also arrived ahead of schedule to prove he deserves to retain the majority of first base innings. Cashman has already hinted that Bird could be demoted to begin 2019. However, Cash also signed Bird to avoid arbitration at $1.2 million. So where do we go from here? Why does it seem the Yankees are not easily handing the starting first baseman job to Voigt? And why is it that Bird even getting another opportunity? I understand why many fans have their reservations about Bird entering this season. Aside from a heroic postseason moment in 2017, he flat out hasn't performed up to par, and according to the numbers, he's a mediocre hitter at best. However, there are a few factors in the 26-year-old's approach at the plate that are still promising. Among first basemen with at least 300 plate appearances over the last two seasons, Bird ranks significantly in four key categories. According to Fangraphs, he's 3rd in FB%, 50.3%, 10th lowest in O-Swing%, 25.5%, 6th in Full%, 47.5%, and 16th lowest in Soft Contact%, 14.4%. His high fly ball rate proves he tends to elevate the ball deep into the outfield. His low O-Swing% shows he doesn't often swing at pitches outside of the zone. His high pull percentage is self-explanatory, and his moderately low soft contact percent indicates he usually hits the ball with medium to hard intensity, if he doesn't swing and miss. Next, Hal won't rule out adding another superstar unfortunately, Bird's inability to make consistent contact has delayed his overall progression as a legit big leaguer. Should he one day soon, put the bat on the ball more regularly, think about the damage he could do in Yankee Stadium. That short porch in right field is so inviting for hitters like Bird, that love to pull the ball. Hopefully, at the age of 26, we see Bird take flight as he approaches his prime years.